Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, my name is Dam Lola Banjo. I am a youth engagement associate with Jobberman. And um, today, um, thank you for joining this Facebook Live section. Um, today's Facebook Live section is brought to you by Jobberman Youth Engagement and Enugu SME Center. So today we are going to be discussing about design thinking and solving real problems. So a new Google SME Center, today's um, Facebook Live is brought to you by Enugu SME Center. Enugu SME Center um, provides capital grants, loan, loan funds for micro and small medium enterprises. Um, Enugu State Government has established a fully equipped and functional center for entrepreneurship and enterprise development, focusing on micro, small, and medium enterprises. Enugu State Government believes that a striving SME sector will boost internal generated revenue, help alleviate poverty, fill job creation, and encourage particularly young graduates to start their own businesses. So Jobberman is, is glad that you know, we are partnering with Enugu SME Center in creation of um, in job creation and enterprise development. So um, for more information about Enugu SME, um, you can access them through these um, through these um, um, channels, through these social media handles, um, to get access to their loans and and grants. Kindly follow these um, social media handles. So, um, kindly share your selfies with us. Um, share your selfies while on this live section with us. You know, so that you know you could stand the chance of uh, winning. And 500 naira a time. So the first 50 people to send their selfies to us get 500 naira um, a time. So send it via WhatsApp, and you should send the number. You should send the picture to 081-3895-88086. So about Jobberman. Jobberman is the number one online pl um, platform in Nigeria, and basically we have over two million people candidates on our website and we link them to over 600,000 employers. Our goal is to create job opportunities for young people in Nigeria. And also um, the youth engagement as um, the youth engagement initiative is committed to upskilling 5 million youths, um, upskilling them, training them, and placing them in dignified workplace in five years. So in today's um, webinar, we're going to be talking about um, design thinking. And in this Facebook Live section, I, I'm going to be talking about, you know, introduction to design thinking, how to de how to define and reframe problems based on emotional needs of um, customers. Design thinking as a method to solve problems. So um, let's just get into it. Um, so um, you can uh, write um, comment sections. You can just write in the comment section what you think of what you are doing. So just to share your opinions, just uh, write in the comment section. So let's start. So what is um, um, design thinking, the introduction to design thinking? So um, basically, in the world today, with um, a lot of companies face a lot of problems, a lot of issues in terms of processes, in terms of you know, technological advances, in terms of economical change. And um, design thinking aims to understand why. It aims to understand the issues, the problems that companies are facing. It doesn't only apply to companies, it applies to you know, every everybody we can apply design thinking in our lives. Yeah. So design thinking basically in business is try to understand the why. It's try to understand the problem. So design thinking um, attempt to explore new alternatives, uh, meaningful ideas, and better solutions to to the problems. Right. It has also it also it has also brought a lot of businesses a lot of um, happy customers. It has also helped a lot of entrepreneurs around the world solve their problems. Uh, with innovative solutions. So de um, design thinking is very important. Um, it's a very useful, creative, um, creative, creative um, solution um, tool, and it can help with, you know, it can be applied in different, um, different for different industries, um, different, uh, regardless of the sector, be it um, even if you are a sole, uh, even if you are an entrepreneur, you can apply design thinking process to it. You can apply it to government, to education, to the health sector. Um, you, to, you, can, you can apply it to any sector. And it also, it's also applicable to um, in the organization, right? If you are facing challenges in organizations, in terms of processes, um, this, the design thinking is helps in terms of innovation. It helps in creating solutions. So um, 
We say create design thinking helps in um, designing solutions, creating innovative solutions based on the needs of the customers. Next slide. Um, so um, this quote uh, was was uh, made by Albert Einstein. He mentioned that we can't solve a problem by using the same kind of thinking we use to create. We use when creating them. So basically, what this is trying to say is, um, if um, we faced um, a lot of problems in the past, and um, so the solution that we use to solve those problems then can be used now. Um, so in the businesses in this, in the business world today. Um, the, we face new sets of problems. Uh, we live in a globalized world, a globalized uh, economy. Um, so basically, um, all the all the countries are kind of intertwined in terms of system. If something affects a country elsewhere, it can also have, affect everybody around the globe. A very good example is this um, COVID-19 situation we are facing. Um, so um, we are, there are new problems that are being that are rising in today's world, and we need a new method of um, innovation to approach them. Right, and this new method is what design thinking is. The kind design thinking allows people, teams, and organizations to have a human-centered perspective, and yet a scientific approach towards solving a problem. So, design thinking helps in you know it, it focuses more on the people, right? It focuses more on the needs of the people and and try to solve the problems, right? So, uh, the next going on to the next slide. Um, what is design thinking? Design thinking is a human-centered, iterative process to creative problem solving. So design thinking tries you know, to understand the, the main problem or the issues people are going through. It has to do with empathy. It has to do with you know, putting yourself in the shoes of your customers. How can you make things better for them? You know, the only way you can know is by being emp emp empathetic with them. You have to, in order to understand this problem, it's not just about your products or the services you are trying to they are trying to, um, to to sell to them. You also have to understand how that your service or, or product is actually helping them in terms of solving problems. So design thinking is a non-linear iterative process which seeks to understand users, challenge assumptions, redefine problems, and create innovative solutions to prototype and test, right? So the method of design th thinking consists of five phases, right, or five stages. The first is to empathize. The second is to define. The third is to ideate. The fourth is to prototype. And the fifth is to test. So I'll be explaining more about this as we move on in the, with, uh, with this section. So design thinking is very useful in, uh, in tackling problems, in understanding problems. And it's also useful in uh, um, design for um, problems that are not well defined or the problems that are unknown. So the, the design thinking is a creative, is a process for creative problem solving. And it also focuses more on human-centric thinking. It's a customer-centric type of approach towards solving problems. Next slide. So the next slide, um, what I'll be talking about here is a quote by David M. Kelly. David M. Kelly mentioned that the main tenet of design thinking is empathy uh, for the people you are trying to design for. So what this is saying is um, you need to, for you to properly solve problems, for you to be a good problem solver, you need to understand what your 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 customers are going to. You need to have empathy. I will use an example to to talk about the um, to to explain this quote. I will use a, an example from Airbnb. Airbnb is an online platform that actually helps um, people um, to use the marketplace for you know, renting houses. So the way uh, BMB started in the first place was to, the way it started was, you know, um, there were two college students after graduation from, from school, they, they, both, they both lived in the same house and they didn't really have much money. They got jobs, yes, but they didn't really have much money in terms of paying their rent. So they, 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 they got to go a meeting, they had to go for a conference in another state. However, they didn't have enough money. So they thought about how can we go about this? How can we make more money for ourselves? So they just thought about it between themselves and they bought mattress in their in their home, right? And they started renting it out for people who want to who want to rent who want to rent or just come and sleep for a temporary period of time. So people started coming and people rented yes, and they were able to make more money, right? So the money they made, they used it to they used it to go to the conference they went to and they actually booked an hotel there because nobody actually um other idea right so they from that 
the from the pain they felt um, as as people. They actually thought about it that you know this could be a chance for an opportunity. So they they actually reached out to a lot of people. They reached out to different people. They reached out to house owners. They reached out to people interested in traveling to try to understand the problem. They gave them surveys and interviews to try to understand what how they can solve that problem. And they came up with Airbnb through that. So with Airbnb now, people can actually, you know, people can actually, instead of booking hotels, they can actually book um, people's houses um, when traveling and it's actually quite cheaper than going to hotels. So without actually building hotels, Airbnb is actually, you know, the, is actually has a valuation of over $3.6 billion billion dollars you know and they are one of the biggest companies today so what what helped them in creating that idea of creating that business is empathy they had the empathy you know because they faced the problem it was they actually expressed it by themselves so they faced the problem and they thought of new solutions on how to help other people you know and they started the business and today they are doing very well so design thinking helps in you know the only way you can solve a problem through design thinking is to help empathy, put yourself in their shoes, try to understand their pain, try to understand the problems they are currently facing. So moving on to the next slide. Um, so I'll be talking about um, the design thinking process. So this is a process that is actually important for you to um, solve, um, solve problems using design thinking um, method, right? So to, the, there are five processes here. The first is to empathize. Um, the second is to design. The third is to ideate, the fourth is to prototype, and the fifth is to test. So the empathy stage of um, design thinking is, like I mentioned, try to understand what they're going to immerse yourself in their problems. Try to, you know, try to engage people to try to understand the problem they are currently going through. So it involves developing a deep understanding of the challenge. So there are different ways of doing this. Um, different companies actually. Um, do um, actually, you know, share questionnaires or share um, surveys to try to understand the problem. So empathy, the first stage, it helps in understanding people's problems. The next stage is defined. So you need to clearly articulate the problem that you want to solve. So in order to um, understand what problem you are trying to solve, yes, after the empathize stage, you've gotten your data from your research, you know, by reaching out to different people, you've gotten so many feedbacks, right? So this now means you have so many data to look at. Now you now have to, you now have to look at what is similar among them. What problems are all of them facing? What is the common problem? So this helps you, in, you know, actually um, the designing a a common a, a a problem statement. So so the second stage is to define. It helps to clearly articulate the problem you want to solve and try to in understanding the common problem everybody phase during the empathy stage or the empathized um, process stage. So the third, the third process or stage is ideate. So ideate means, you know, brainstorming potential solutions and selecting and developing your solution. So ideating means you now have a, from, from coming from the defined stage, you now have a problem, you have a problem statement. Now you now have to ideate. Ideating means, you know, it has to do with creative thinking and it has to do with you know thinking of different solutions to trying to solve your the problem. How are you going to solve the problem? It involves thinking of so many solutions. There is not just one, not just two, thinking of different solutions that you can come up with in solving the problem statement. So it involves um it involves brainstorming potential solutions. At this stage, you are going to need to you know diverge to different ways of thinking. You need to think of new alternatives of how you can solve that problem. So when you have uh, when when you have your um, your different solutions or what you the, the, the solutions you have, then you move to the prototype stage. So the prototype stage is where you actually create a prototype. Yes, to to try to test um, um, the problem you are trying to you are trying to solve. So after getting the after getting the the solutions, yes, you actually have to now try to test them. You need to, you know, you reach out to people during the empathy stage to try to understand what they were actually going through, yes? So the identity stage also means you are sharing some of the opinions with um, the, the, the people you interview in the first place to try to understand the best prototype or best design that works for them. So the prototype, the prototype stage involves trying to, you know, from your own experience and from what you've learned, trying to have a common ground, trying to create a solution to the problem they are currently facing. Then the last stage is the test stage. 
So this involves, you know, to it involves testing what you actually the problem you are trying to solve. So in this stage, the last stage, the third stage, it does, it does not necessarily mean that your problem will be solved at the end of the day, but it means that you've taken a significant step to solve your problem. So when you actually test it, if you discover new problems with you know, the problem you are trying to solve, you can actually go back to the idea stage um, and the prototype stage to try to solve the problem. So these are the five um, stages in the um, design thinking. The first is to empathize to try to develop an understanding of the challenge. The second is to define, try to define the problem, create the problem statement. It's all to ideate and um, divert to different ways of thinking, divert to um, the solutions they are trying to, um, solutions that you, you brought up, and then you, you invert to, to prototype, yeah, prototype to create a prototype to try to test what you actually, the problem are trying to solve. And the last stage is to test. Then moving on to the next slide. So why is design thinking important? Um, so over the decades, it has become crucial to develop and refine skills, which allows us to understand and act on rapid changes in our environment and behavior. So reframing problems with focus being on the person and you are trying to solve the problem for allows focus. Yes. So it's very important that um, a lot of companies these days, um, in order to for people to actually um, for you to retain customers and for you to acquire customers, you need to solve a problem for them, yes? So it's very important that companies start seeing design thinking as the way forward because um, the truth is a lot of big companies in the world today, we have Google, Apple, Airbnb, IBM, all practice design thinking. They also practice design thinking. It is an innovation process in terms of how they operate in, in with their, how, they, how they handle internal challenges, not just only for the customers, not just based on the product, products and services that are given out. So it's very important that um, you companies that are customer or oriented, they focus on the needs, the pains, the problems of the customers and trying as much their best to trying to solve those um, problems. So the, the truth is when they solve these problems for them, um, they, they, tend, they tend to be a higher um, customer retention. They tend to be, you tend to acquire more customers, you know, and you, you tend to have a higher, in terms of revenue, they tend to be a lot of revenue. The, the most companies today, um, the most, um, the richest companies today, most of them practice um, design thinking through their internal processes and also the way they communicate or relate to their customers. So it helps designers to carry out the right kind of research, create prototypes and test out the products and services to uncover new ways of thinking and new ways to meet users' needs. Okay, so moving on to the next slide. So why it's why embrace um, design thinking? So problems are not always um, solved at first. The quick um, fix method is not always available to us, right? So design thinking is very important because, um, like I mentioned, it, 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 it is actually a big step to solving problems um, related to customer um, satisfaction. It helps. It helps uh, customer um, experience as well. It helps boost customer experience. Um, design thinking helps to increase revenue. It also helps in terms of competitive advantage. Um, when companies that practice design thinking actually have um, a better you know, understanding of cost customers, and this gives them a competitive advantage over the rest. You know, there are, an example of this is you know, due to technological advancements, in the phone um, phone space, in cell phone space, we have um, Nokia uh, and BlackBerry. They, there was a time when they all went down the fence because they couldn't keep up to uh, meeting what um, the customer needed. So this is where Apple came from, and Apple actually understood what people needed. They they, they were they were more about um, their customers and tried to make things easy for them. So they focused more on customer centric way of thinking right and they, this actually helped them become the biggest um cell phone company in the world you know they are now one of the biggest companies in the world in terms of valuation so design thinking helps to you know create a competitive advantage it also helps to understand you know helps you in understanding your customer's experience and this can also help in creating a better user experience for your customers okay um so moving on uh problem solving problem solving the design thinking way. Yeah, so um, in order to um, go through this process of design thinking, it's important to understand 
um, the, 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 the way of thinking, right? So um, the, the, the design thinking process needs to answer four questions. Yeah? The first is what is, the second is what if, um, the third is what works, and the fourth is what works. So each is representing the different stage of the design experience. So what is refers to the present? What if um, builds on the, on the present to envision new, a new future? What wows helps um, a team to focus on solutions that stand out? And what works test the um, possible solutions with actual users in the real world? Next slide. Um, so moving on, so what is empathy? Like I said, empathy is the key to um, design thinking. It's the most important first step to design thinking, the ability to actually put yourself in, in the shoes of, of your customers, right? So what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It involves consulting experts and customers to find out more about the area of concern through, through observing, engaging, and empathizing with people to understand their experiences and motivations. So as well as immersing yourself in the physical environment as much as you can. So it basically helps in trying to you know, understand or gain a deeper understanding of the issues involved. It's basically putting yourself in the, in the shoes of your customer, trying to understand the pains or the problems they are currently going through. So um, customers actually appreciate when, when companies do this because this shows that they care, and companies that care would only try to solve those problems. So they tend to you know, stick to those companies. So empathy is key. Empathy is key to you know, progress um, to business growth. It's very important that you understand um, your customers, try to you know, help them out and solving their problem. So the next slide. So um, the next stage is to define. So the define mode is where we unpack our empathy, right? Empathy finds its into needs and insights. Your point of view is basically an actionable problem statement. Um, a unique design vision is framed by your specific users. So a specific point of view it, um, preserves the emotion and the individual, right? You are designed, the, indiv the individual you are designing for and basically um, defining, try to you know, have a deeper um, insight into the problems of the of the the problems of the of the customer. So it's basically a point of view trying to understand the problems and defining a problem statement from 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 the problem statement of all the customer and what they are facing. So it's, it's trying to understand that problem, the define mode. So basically, um, I, I dating out four parts to it. Um, the first is to amplify good and eliminate bad. The second is to explore opposites and, and question. The fourth is to analyze. Um, the third is to analyze, and the fourth is to identify unexpected resources. So I get is the mode where you generate radical design alternatives. This is the process of going going wide. Yes, trying as much as possible to. Um, understand different alternatives, alternatives that can help you in solving the problem. So the goal of ideation is to explore a wide solution space and put a large quantity, put in a large quantity and a broad, a broad um, diversity of plants. So problem solving. So problem solving is, you know, is straight to the point. It's trying to, you know, trying in problem solving, in order to solve the problem, you need to outline the problem um, to understand what to become aware of the problem. So you need to cultivate, the second stage in problem solving stage is to cultivate a number of ideas. And the third stage is to develop the best ideas and the fourth stage is to execute. Next slide. So um, there are different, here are some different um, design thinking case studies. Um, we have Apple, Virgin, Coca-Cola, Toyota, all of them parties, um, they all practice design thinking in terms of um, the innovation processes um, in, the, in the organizations. I gave an example earlier about Airbnb, um, Apple as well, you know, they all try as much as possible to make the, custo um, the customers or the consumers um, 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 comfortable. They try to understand them and try to make sure the user experience is one of the best they get in that space. So these companies actually practice this, um, design thinking and it has actually helped them um, in terms of um, in terms of revenue. They are, they are one of the biggest companies. The truth is, um, the part that you can give a, an organization, a company, value, you need to understand the problem to give them the, the sustainable value that they are looking for. So these companies are doing a great job in that regard. So moving 
on um next slide um so about uh, um you know um toyota toyota is also a company that practices um design thinking so we designed we designed the um the customer contact center at toyota right so the customer satisfaction was down and wait times average between 20 to 40 minutes and that was just to get someone on the line so to find answers service reps were using um as many as 13 different applications uh, which would they would have to um which they will have to speak to um internal tech so work well, they have to also work to filing cabinets add copy information and also ask one of their more experienced peers so certainly a better software tool um, with a unified source of relevant information to speed things up right so more than that more than more than that it more than that a change in internal process was required so the service reps were specifically asked what their primary frustrations were and what they needed to do their jobs so with new training in internal processes and better software tools um, reps were able to solve customers problems with an average with an average of two fewer calls faster response times and millions of and millions of dollars saved by empowering reps to answer more questions. So this is a way that you know um, that Toyota um, solved a problem they were facing in in, in, in the organization. So they actually they actually empathized with reps um, and they, they defined the problem and tested possible solutions and eventually implemented that solution. So next slide. Um, so there are five ways to design thinking every day. So there are five major um, strategies daily to become a master a, a, a master problem solver. The first is to visualize. You need to illustrate your problem with a pen and paper for greater insight and perspective. The next thing you need to do is to reverse. Think of a solution, then work backwards to reframe the most important element. After that, you need to commit. Um, pursue your most radical and imperfect ideas and embrace the possibility of failure. And the next stage um, is to challenge, question, question limits, break rules, and differentiate perceived boundaries from actual ones. And the last part is to empathize. Put yourself in your audience's shoes. How can you work to serve them best? So uh, moving on, uh, so um, moving on to the next slide. Um, so the Enugu SME Center actually have a business challenge, and 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 they are looking at you know, do you have micro funds to start your business to improve your business? Are you seeking employment opportunities? Do you want to create um, wealth for yourselves? So what you need to do is to join the Enugu SME Center contest to pitch a business plan. My, um, for micro, small, and medium enterprise to win up to 50,000 to 100,000 naira grant to start your business. So kindly follow a new SME Center on these uh, social media handles on your screen. So you can also, to sign up for Jobberman, kindly go to our website on www.jobberman.com slash customer slash sign up. Kindly sign up to have access um, to to um, you know, job opportunities and if you're an employer, you have access to um, over two million candidates on our, on our website. Also, we also have job opportunities. Um, this was uh, these are direct job opportunities from the government youth engagement. Um, the fourth is Protein International. They have about 350 uh, full-time vacancies. So kindly, you know, um, the link is written on the screen. Kindly um, click on it in the comment section. Michael, if you also share that. And also another um, job opportunity, Novatia Translations Limited. They have over 540, 540 remote work on vacancies for language translators. We also have Verify Me. Um, Verify Me is also looking for um, and apply for, for these jobs. So, um Jobberman is currently uh, interested you know, in meeting or reaching out to um trying if you are looking for um roles to fill, we actually we are actually um posting you can actually post for free on our website and it's actually from 
from um, April to June. So you still have about one more to go. So kindly go to our website and post for free. So talk to us via these um, social media handles, um, via the social, the youth engagement website at www.jobberman.com um, youth engagement. Our email address is also on the screen, youth engagement at jobberman.com, our LinkedIn handle, and on um, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, follow us at Jobberman Nigeria. On Twitter, follow us at um, jobbermanNigeria.com. Also, follow Enugu SME social media on this year. Um, here are their social media and kindly follow them on social media. So today's uh, program, today's um, edition of the Facebook Live webinar was brought to you by Enugu SME. Thank you very much for attending this um, Facebook Live section. I hope you've learned um, a lot about um, design thinking. So if you have questions, kindly drop questions in the comment section. My colleagues will be there to answer your questions. It'd be nice uh, spending time to you, with you. Um, stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye. See you next time.